can technically run Naga up against the Alchemist. It's a little bit more dangerous to do. Um, and the primary reason why I think it's dangerous is because obviously you have like very little armor on an Alchemist. Mm -hmm. And a Naga Riptide doesn't really help you at all with survival. But once Alchemist hits level 6, Naga shouldn't be able to kill him off. You ensnare, you chemical rage, and the regeneration survives anything which Mouse Sports has. Well, given the fact that no tells playing the Alk, I I don't imagine he's going mid. No, actually, yeah, you're right. This is a... Uh, it's probably Era going mid. It's Support Alchemist. Yep. Okay, I'm not a fan. I'm, well, mm, I, I, yeah, I can still be a fan of this. It just means we're not looking at a farming Alchemist. We actually had one of these already, like a... Who was it that played the support alchemist that ended up going court? Was it Chuan? Yeah, it was Chuan for uh, IG. No. And he ended up being like a fourth core hero going into the late game. Had AC heart, the big items. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think I think at the end of the day, Pugna is a fine hero to go mid against Naga. You have the range advantage, you, you're blasting, you're pushing the wave. Um, I, I think that lane should come out quite even though, because both heroes are going to bottle crow a lot. And uh, sure, you're getting blast in the face by the nether blast. You're also bottling it back up. A lot of pauses in the game. <laughs> it's like, uh... Here, 50% win rate. A, a completely even 50% win rate. Do you want to you spend what? your first pick to get a 50% win rate? <laughs> For people that tuned in to our, my broadcast yesterday with Sindarin, I'd say that's a rather low win rate. <laughs> that's actually pretty low. Like, for example, yes, yesterday when I was casting with Sindarin, it was up around 60% or a little bit higher than that. Oh, really? And I was like, oh, sure, Skyrise made it a low win rate. You say 60% is low? I think it's... Oh, okay. Here, here's the question now for Statsman. What's the difference of the win rate between the days of the International? It might be really high in day one, and then people kept yeah, latching then it gets onto lower it, and then it got lower. And then lower in day three. Yeah. There you go, That's Mr. interesting Statman. to... to challenge if you wish to accept it. This How about this? How about this? The top eight teams, the top eight teams that are in the standings, what is the Skyraf wage, Skyraf mage win rate for those teams? <laughs> ah. We're, making noise. We're just giving him pointless things to do right now. It's like, <laughs> hey man, what's the win rate for Earthshaker in, in 2013? Hmm? I, would, I would like to know the total amount of wards purchased by every team, observers and sentries included. Like all teams here at yeah yeah 61 percent 35 percent on day two not worth man not worth there you go people are getting used to it now maybe by d by day like day three stats will be like mm, 10 percent win rate <laughs> like what's well, going on maybe not that if bad. you follow the trend of it man if you follow the trend all right let's actually let's actually do talk about a little bit of dota apart from win rates. <laughs> Anything jumps out at you? I, I was already moving on to wards, dude. Yeah, Come on. That, that is true. Well, what are the wards? Pass just dropped one. It yep. looks like a, a center laning ward. Uh, down that bottom. Just one obs. But what's going on here with this Trixie Hani dual lane on the bottom? I. It's I, I, I don't really see this saying the way it is, man. Unless, unless the it does work, and we've actually got ourselves. Yeah, I think we do. We have ourselves a uh, a roaming wraith king, and I assume he's gonna be played the same way that and Big Daddy's plays his... playing core. Oh fly, he's out. Yeah, yeah. Oh fly, oh. he's in a lot of trouble. That fish is gonna block him in right now. Misery in with the shackles. They gotta body block him and buy some time for misery attack. Fly, he's gonna try and deny himself to Roshan. Comes in close, and they're Ooh. waiting it out. Really smart by misery as well as pass. They wait until Roshan swung once, and then they attacked. Nicely done. All right, it's gonna be a, a, a honey on the support, Big Daddy on the carry. Big Daddy used to play mid. He's used to be one of the best mid player in Han, so let's see if he still has those skills, man. I used to be one of the best micros in uh, in Heroes of New Earth as well. There you Big go. Daddy took that one away from him. Daddy is, uh, he's not a giver, man. <laughs> he's a taker. He's a taker. Yeah. So we say he flies the Reacher. I don't know. Your dad knows Carl McGrath, sorry, you're still the Reacher. Wow. Oh, man, that bottom lane. So we get ourselves an aggro tri lane. Honey, Fly, and Trixie. So they're babysitting the Batrider uh -oh. in this game while uh -oh. past Harney. Even if he gets no, he, he's too even if he throws a Hellfire Blast, what's the follow-up here? Yeah, I mean if you had level two on Fly, like if you have Pinkets of Shot and Arcane Build, that would have actually probably got the kill, but No, it's only a level one. Yeah. I'm I'm just I'm even wondering, like, 
Like, Fly is one part of it, like, Vitrixie is the other. Like, you need to have him in range to start the sticky napalm after the Hellfire Blast goes, and then also have him with Firefly. So you, you'll win as far as vision goes for the battle. Yeah, Fnatic's actually backing off here and uh, smoked up. Let's see where they're actually ganking into. Prophet should be a fairly easy kill on the top lane with the burst damage of that Pugna. Mid is not too bad either. The problem is these wards are being started being stamp, spammed out and they are going to keep the lane fairly pushed. So we'll see if they're going to try to come mid. Looks like they are. Well, they're looping around at the moment. I think they're coming top, dude. Okay. Because uh, I was watching a few before, and MSS is being very aggressive in the era. He's trying to force a lot more positioning so he can get up to his face boots. And then he can just basically win up against era. But he's, he's, he's here too long. Uh, this is him dead. There's, there's actually literally Maybe. no way he can escape from this. The Crepify, Blast, then follow up Hellfire, and Fly actually hasn't leveled an ability. Now you throw the orb out. Wraith King takes the last hit. Even if you try to TP then, man, like after the Hellfire Blast went, there'll be too much damage output to survive. It's Middle very lane, good. the gang's coming. Yeah, it's very good they didn't leave. Misery. Hey, stream. Shackles uh -oh. over on the Alchemist. Gale from Fader to level 1. Prophet's gonna TP in right now. And there goes Big Daddy. They'll add pressure instantly in towards this mid tower. It's gonna take a little bit of time, though. Yeah, this is exactly what Mouseport likes to do all the time. Just keep ganking all over the place. Too much damage! Yeah, he is. Well, Honey, that's a down MSS. Well, Honey gets his clarity cancelled. I don't think they're gonna get a tower kill out of this, but they are gonna force a flip. A good bit of Nog early is in game trouble. movements. Nog is in a lot of trouble on the bottom lane. Five napalm stacks. At the same time, Trixie is also just as injured. One Riptide would have him dead. And look oh. where Fox is coming in. Fissure. Boom! Your face! <laughs> that is the range. I gotta say, man, Paz is making a case that he's been one of the most impressive Earthshaker I've seen in this tournament. And that's like next to FY, like one of the best Earthshaker players in the world. The early game rotations are perfect. He's winning essentially two to three lanes for his team. You can't ask for more. Yep. Man, wonderful rotation. I'm, I'm re I bet you Hani's sitting there going, I wish I was an Earthshaker right now. <laughs> well, Hani's playing uh, another strength hero, but a lot less. He's, he's playing Mr. Wraith King, Mr. Hellfire Blast, and needs to get stats on his second level. Just so he can keep roaming around. What a boring hero. Well, that's because he went Brids first. What else is he meant to do? Like, technically, he can't cast two Wraithfire Blasts straight away. He needs to regenerate. Well, he's going to find an Invis rune that maybe not to help him set up, but also look towards middle lane. Look about pass winning lanes, but pass and Misery are both right next to Fader. Now, Hardy's going to use the Invis rune and scout out uh, pass. Uh -oh. Okay, that's dead. Yep, here Hell comes Fire the Fire Napalm. Firefly, Sticky Napalm. He gets to go- Oh, oh no, 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 pass! <laughs> oh, you realize both stuns were used? Actually, there was no second stun. There's only one stun. There's, no, there's no- Oh, they can get, get a fourth kill here. Shackle? Misery. Shackle's on him. Trixie, the, the Firefly is there, but the hero is a pass past it now. And Fader, right behind it, very, very wisely didn't throw out the Gale, because there was potential for a denial, but 4-1 now for Mousebots. What is this Mousebot I'm seeing? This is definitely not a 3-8 team, not the way to top play lane. top lane. MSS is going to get the Crep Blast, and here comes all oh, of the oh, bandit oh. shots. Oh. One more right-click, pause just a second too late, and I don't think he could capitalize on this. Nobody's going to teleport in, so a little bit of slow rotation, but hey. Can't ask for too much from Pops. And that was real. That was also like Fnatic. You, you talked about like a great mouse ball team moving around the map, but we're forgetting about Era as well as Skyrath on the top lane. These guys are liter literally the like Amplify Brothers. If they could be part of a PA system, they would do so. It's just blast down the tower. Like the Fissure trying to slow him down. Era knows with a three point blast, he could take Radiant's the large hit in the tower. tower. There's no falling. way the mouse bots, unless Fnatic make a mistake, could they, they, they could deny that top tower. Yep, and that's uh, 1000 gold. Next Next to the arcane boots for era, he's very very farm. Now a lot of successful pugnas, once they destroy that tier one, they don't they don't stop. They just TP to another lane and they keep going. So let's see if Fnatic decides to play like that or decides to actually hold back a bit and farm a little bit with pugna. I prefer to see a push right now. Yeah, I, I think so as well because when you really limit where that Naga can farm, mm -hmm. that's really the best way to beat a Naga. Like, beat her before she gets to the Radiance. Because okay. once she gets to the Radiance, it gets much more annoying to do so. That must be the key thing though, like, limit where she can farm. Take out all the other T1 towers. Don't look for the T2 tower because that's not really going to help you. You need the other T1 towers down for the count. Now, yep. middle lane, Nortel's already triggering off his ultimate. He doesn't have mana for his acid spray, but Fly's going to come in. He seals up path, so there's going to be no fissure. But the sprout's actually really nice, but the stun concoction, as well as Hellfire Blast. Fissure goes over Trixie. 
Well, he's coming close, but there is nothing really to play around with here. Yeah, a lot of these spells might not have been used the most optimally. For example, the the sun from uh, Unstable Concoction, as well as the Howfire Blast. They both flew on him the same time, so... Yeah. Mana just walked it off. Even that nether ward position, that nether ward ended up a smack bang in the middle of the river. Mm -hmm. And the plague wards took it out. Yeah. Obviously they can't kill it off as fast as the hero does, but when you got two or three plague wards in the middle, it doesn't take it that long. Yeah, a really great fissure from Poss, just kind of break things apart, and that's, again, what you expect from an Earthshaker. So, mm -hmm. it looks like Fnatic's really walking back and starting to farm away, and this yeah, is not your farming it. lineup, though. Well, well, is it? Okay, you don't have high points up in the, um, in the, in the Grievous Creed, right, for no-tell, but... Right. When he does start farming, he's gonna shoot up in the levels, and he gets level 16 quickly. We all know what happens when you hit a level 3 chemical raged alchemist. Nothing. That's actually what happens. His regeneration is, is just through the roof. But, okay, it actually looks like it's not for him. It's for Trixie. They're gonna get him his blink dagger right now. Well, there, there is an Ancient Sack, and, and Big yeah. Daddy could take that, because yeah. that's a spray can farm. And I, I'm just somewhat concerned. Yes, we know Alchemist can be that late game carry, but if you look at the CS right now, he's got 30, which is not exactly anything you could write home about. Yeah. Uh, he, they, he's, they need to flash farm him. Yeah. Okay. He's also playing a solo mid Alchemist, and when you have him in that position, you expect him to roam around or farm a quick mech. So even though he's going to get farm, I think his item choices is going to be more utility for the team rather than that late game carry. Oh, uh, bottom lane. Pycap has to pop the song with a siren. He will be able to escape himself out from both Hardy as well as Fly. Quickly out. Looks like we're going to see a push coming out on the top lane. Eros pinging for a defense, but his team's not rotating in. Chemical Rage is also going to wear off. Oh. Pass the perfect fissure. Like, no tell. He, he, okay, there we go. <laughs> he backed up for a moment. I thought maybe the pathing was wrong for him, but he did get through. Now, this top tower is just, at this point, tree and some play quads, which are forcing it out. We get fake Chemical Raging Alchemist coming in through sides. But the top tower will be up and out. Is Tower Topper going to be lane. put... They're coming in. Hardy, where's the Hellfire Blast? He doesn't want to want to use Fire Cap, but at least notice there's no Song of the Siren. Dying Misery actually running under the Acid down. Spray. Fortification will save some time, and now No Tower. Stuns over on Pie Cap. She gets all the illusions with it. Follow up Hellfire Dying Blaster. Mid Tower may go down, but they won't care about this. Trixie's coming in closer, and he wants the kill. However, the Hex on oh! three with the Fenowalti. They have the last two over on Vader. Hardy, though, the more support comes in from MSS. And it's a wonderful instant up to the hill, holding Trixie in position to No Tail. Well, there is a revenge hit. The Pie Cap's coming in. There's no chemical rage. Trying to get in front. MSS is going to actually lock the two together to play in the trees. And Pycat will stick with him. No tell. 150 life points. He's bodily into five six touches. They hold him in again. Another rip tide. A quick concoction. I don't know if he's attempting to denial there or not. But either way, MSS is a double kill for the Prophet. Yeah, that fight went poorly. And then Fata hit a three man Gale into an ultimate. And that really turned it around. That Master Bin Ward also prevented the retreat back to the mid lane. So, really a well played uh, mouse. And unfortunately, Fnatic chased into the attack. Doom. Again, this does not look like the mouse sport lineup that went 3 and 8 in group stage. So, well, I guess they, they are just playing every game as if this is the last. Because yeah. it really is the last it, game. It is. It really is, man. There's not much difference between these two teams, however. Like, you're 10 minutes in, 1,000 experience to Fnatic, almost 1,000 gold going the way of mouse sports. It actually looks like uh, the experience is starting to level up a little bit more. Only difference by about 600 or so. But, uh, okay. A bit of audio problems, uh, but the money is actually quite even across the board. One thing which isn't really even is the l high level of farm coming into Era. Now he just built an entire mech. Okay. This is 10 minute mech. He got 70 for 13, and has already taken out the top tower. Mech's great. The blink dagger coming into Trixie is also great. What we see a lot of problem with teams is that they get these items, but they don't do what the item is designed to do. I think when you have the blink dagger on Trixie and the mech on Era, you just push. You group up as five, and if anybody even wants to try defend, that's when Trixie jumps in and just last you, you get the quick kill, and keep on pushing. Question is, is Fnatic gonna do that? I hope they go pushing. There. They've got him, man. Like you, you, you've got a, you've Dyer's got a pugna. You got a pugna. Just that, just for that reason, you have to push. All these tier one towers. If they're still up by 20 minutes in, Fnatic have severe problems. Yeah. If the tier two towers aren't even being by t by uh, 20 minutes in, Fnatic have massive, massive problems. Because it just means they have no control over the map now. No towers farming up a whole bunch of ancients. There's support in the bottom lane. Trixie's waiting in the trees for somebody. Now, there is the real Naga on this bottom lane. He's a long way up, while MSS and Misery are adding pressure towards the top lane. 
Now, they use Mana Serpent Ward, so the top tier 1 tower has fallen, but the Firefly is up a little too early from Trixie. Everyone's backed up from Mouth Wars. Can I even see him there? No, there, there is no vision. They must have seen him go yeah. in before that point. Or they just feel the Trixie is missing somewhere. And speaking of pushing, maybe we're, the, we're looking at the wrong team that pushes, because, you know, Fnatic Pugna, that's great and all. It is the Mass Serpent Wards and the Treants from Mouse Wards, and they push down a tier 1 top. In fact, if you look at the towers on the map, it's, uh, it's Mouse that has the better pushing for tower count goes. Bottom lane, Fly's in trouble. That Earthshaker is trying to get himself in range for a Fissure, and they find Fly in the tree line. Misery blinks himself in, Fly hexed up, and it's at this point that Trixie just has to leave his teammate for dead. Actually, they're gonna go up further. The Fissure, not the greatest position. In fact, they can't get past it, and wow. Taka is like, all right, the Fissure the will fish time out. <laughs> they're losing the creep wave to the uh, to the, uh, to the Acid, however, and now the Gale over on No-Tail, in through the rear. Trixie gets the last two Echo Slam, however. Stopped his run out. Era, he's trying to help that. Draining passes from his life. Fissure will turn around. But the Shadow Shaman's already gone down. Honey, he's running down there. He knows his ultimate's about to actually, well, he's gonna die of the poison at the moment, but he's not close enough to actually slow anybody. The tower, he wouldn't have died then. The tower actually killed him up. The poison wore off at the last moment. Then now he's gonna respawn back up again. They're looking to come in, and all of Fnatic are very much grouped up. Yeah, that, the arcane boots, and they try and go again. That go was a little bit overzealous here, waiting out the fissure, using the song, and then diving into the tier one tower, knowing the enemy team having a mech. And a bat. Don't work out there for Mouseport, and they might actually lose their tier one tower as a result. Now, Misery is teleporting back. He does ma have more master board. So let's see if they can make a defend uh, defense from that. Oh, well, they give it a shot, man. But Plague Wars, there's the shock Ooh. on a no tail. It's a good thing he's got that chemical rage, but they're going to back up because MSS has been pressuring top lane for the past 30 seconds, and they're realizing that maybe they're fighting into the middle of mouse boards is a little bit too much. Here's the thing, though: if you leave that lane, Fnatic might lose their tier one tower on the bottom, so they they need to send Big Daddy up top, defend that wave, and he needs to start rotating because in theory, Mouseport could just ma drop a mass super ward and take the tower. Oh, that is true, but maybe that's the reason too why Trixie put the Firefly down. Yeah. Mop up the creep way before it gets there. And if they do try and commit into it, then you then you try and use the, the advantage of like a blink lasso, which is now coming off cooldown. Man. But this pushing power of Fnatic really has stopped. I, I, you're, you're right in saying before that mouse bots are the ones who are actually like almost dictating the push terms between mass open wards and army of trees. And because the Venomancy got such early levels, having four points up in Plague Wars really just lets them set up like a forward command post. Yeah, and that command post is beating down that tier one bottom lane. Really hard to push into this, and really it has to be coming through from Trixie. Fissure has already been spent, so if Trixie wants Plague to jump... Ward. Look at the position oh, of it. Oh, these... Pl it's so good. Yeah. Like, even if he wants to fire... If he fireflies past this tree line here, he gets hit by the Plague Ward and he can't blink dagger. Yep. Which means he cannot initiate. And also, you know, without a Force Staff, jumping into a possibility of a Hex from Misery is very scary. So, maybe can't initiate from now. With that said though, Fnatic did defend their tier 1 tower as those wards they get dealt with. So there is that, but Mal's definitely dictating in terms of push. They're definitely farming more over the map, and if you look at the go graph, it's a very sizable 3,000 goal lead. We have a three-man smoke coming up from Fnatic with an Invis rune as well, so Harney can walk up. And they're going to try and flank the Mouseport's bottom lane. Coming in behind the Wall of Wards, that's a lot easier than going through them. Well, the thing is, the Batrider, or excuse me, the Pugna's cut off. If they, they, if they wait this in. out, they can actually kill the mech off before it arrives. Ooh, it's Hani. coming on the Courier. Now, Harney, he's the first one in here. Trixie's still not using his Firefly. Now, the Courier's about to come over the tree line. And that means also... Okay, way well, hey, Shagbuck turns. He caught the vision, but they jump in on Fader. Skyrath Mage Ultimate dropped down too. Fader is down, but he got his he got his stuff off. Oh, and wow, Skyrath also melts Trixie he's too slow. And the now the charge will come off, but Misery blinked himself up. Hexdrover on Trixie, also with a shock, and Pika just stops everything. There's four heroes here. Look at Pass. He's moving up at the moment. Is that Ghost Slam or Fissure? What's he gonna do? Fissure up, Flame Break pushes him back. Now the Shackles over near the Fissure actually goes over towards Harney in the tree line, and he's stuck in here. They blink up the Hex is there. Echo Slam is well committed. Three heroes will die over on the sidelines. Well, four still are alive for mouse bots. And they just probably could almost go top lane. They could, they could split pressure here. Yeah, I mean, diving past to actually go for that kill on Earthshaker. Reno just dropped another big ultimate. Here comes the Master of Rewards. Not only that, I mean, with your entire team poisoned up, the Wrath of Nature just cleaned them all Dying through. And I, I, I really fallen. like the fact that they immediately, when they saw the uh, ward being used by Pugna, they just song and killed the ward. Yep. Because with that ward alive, it makes the job difficult for your Shadow Shaman, because you, you can't really cast a lot of spells. 
as you'll kill yourself. So great play from Mouseport, wins yet another team fight, secures yet another tower, and all of this tower gold, well, it's going into the pocket of Pycan. If you if you check his current goal right now, 3600, man, that's his relic. Yeah. Getting there fast, man. A lot faster than we've seen some other Nagas today. Not as fast as that 13 minute bear, but... Oh, that's the 13 minute completed Radiance. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> a little bit of a different beast. <laughs> that was also Scylla. Yeah. <laughs> it's a completely different beast. Man, MSS. We get another one, man. But not completely. This is a hand of Midas Necro book. I like how we actually get to see like two different ways of doing it today. Yeah, there's so many different ways to play Prophet, but this is definitely the the old school way. And when I say old school, like maybe a, a year old build. As uh, you know, you, you get the you get the Necro book pretty quickly. You don't sacrifice too much farm. You don't sacrifice any of your level gain because Midas really helps you out there. And uh, well, the beauty of it too is because you know you're going to get the farm. You don't have to like just get the Necro book on you. Like you just get the two items of it, but you keep it a secret and you go straight into level two book because obviously those units are worth a hell of a lot if you can farm them up. Yep. So you try and be a little bit more like like restrained with the Necrobox until you hit level 2, level 3. Oh, Courier Snipe, MSS. He needs the last attack. It's up the hill, but it's no. not enough damage. 14 life points, and he quickly TPs out. Yesterday, we saw Trixie making the exact same play, and he got the Courier down to that HP amount. And it's really the difference of having that Shadow Blade, which yeah. we saw, I think, in, like, TI3. A lot. Yes. Uh, versus not having the Shadow Blade. Yeah. It got, it got nerfed shortly after TI3. Yeah. But a lot, I think it's more mana cost and longer, longer cooldown duration. Was I it more mana cost actually? Yeah, that sounds about right. Longer cooldown, bigger mana cost. It basically made the item seem like, like just the thing you don't want to touch in a bag. Yeah. They just well, let it go. You know, people adapt, right? That's why the Midas Necrobook build came around. No tells on his way to building into uh, Battle, Battle Fury. Fury? I mean, that's... It's, I, it's 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 older school, but normally like, you you would do it with a double combination when you used to have like mag being played a lot. So you had like the empower and you had the battle fury together. Well, I guess if you have the mag, you don't need a battle fury, right? Because that is your battle fury in a sense. Actually, I remember I had that debate as well in the past, but like there, there was something I can't remember who it was that was having the debate with me. I think it was clairvoyance at the time, and he was basically saying that you actually want to have it because the way it stacks is actually really nice. That is true, and obviously the regen is nice. The damage is always nice. I think in this game though, maybe prioritizing in, in any item to help you defend the tower is better. Radiance middle tower is under Because attack. when when push comes to shove and master been wards and, and plague wars drop, having a battle fury don't help you because you can't cleave those wards down. Mm hmm You're right. Where's our Maelstrom? Where's our Mjolnir? Three man smoke coming down by Fnatic. Era's right behind him as well. While the bottom lane was starting to be pressured a little bit, they're looking for MSS. So Tricky Firefly blinks in and they got him. The arc can keep it. Okay. Pull it back a little bit further. Okay. They made that a little bit harder than it needed to be, but they do win the killing spree. The bottom lane. Shackle's already over on Notel, but he breaks free. The Mass Serpent Wars might be down, but Notel doesn't care about this. His regeneration is really good. Misery. Ah! Oh, stick charges. He's into the corner, a little bit further down. Blink, blink, blink. Get him, get him, he blinks. Get him, get him, get him, Misery! He can't get the kill. Even <laughs> that chicken has more res like more regeneration than he does. And the Pugna Blast will ensure the kill of the Shadow Shaman. Oh, he went for the play. He really did. But, uh, I mean, the regen is too much. Top lane, though, looks like Tower will be defended here. Big Daddy making his presence felt throughout the fight. Mm hmm. But that's the Radiance. Yeah. 20 minutes in, and I, I think these tier 2 towers are already being widowed down. They're gonna drop in a flash. And I, I, the, the cool thing about this particular lineup is because Mouseport is so far ahead thanks to their Tower Gold, at this point in on, Naga's gonna take a lot of creeps away from his team. But that's yeah. fine, because I think the rest of his team is already where they need to be. I don't think they need much more item beyond this. I'm even thinking about this even more, man. Okay, the Battle Fury, I know we we're talking about like Plague Wars and things like that, but maybe we think about this in the late game factor. For, for the illusions. Yeah, yeah, we think about illusions, we think about a huge like, like double army of trains that comes in from Rage's Prophet with a creep wave behind it. Sure. That kind of stuff, no tell just evaporates. Because he puts obviously the negative armor, hiding in trouble. Uh, Misery just blinks himself in for the Hex, the Shackles, the Prophet only is bouncing around. It never reached him. It never reached Harney on the bottom lane. MSS threw out the Rats of Nation. Now Harney's gonna die here, slows them all down, which means here again for the biggest trade of his life. Misery dragged back in. Skyrim made all ultimate doing some heavy work. The stuff will come up. MSS brings up his Necro units, but they're going from one kill to the next to Fnatic, and maybe they can reach Vader, and Pycap stops it. He stops everything. 
They're not going to turn around and try and fight this one. Urshik is still pushing out the top lane. But Fnatic can look to bring down that T1 tower now. Yeah, it was a very interesting decision to try to kill a, Sky, uh, a Rave King next Dino's to the enemy tier 2. Because first of all, it takes a long time to kill that Rave King. Second of all, when you do kill him, well, you're going to get slowed. His entire team's going to TP in. And that's exactly what we saw. So not exactly the best go for Mouseport. And as a result, they get Dino's punished for it. But Pass has that blink. He's got the TP, man. We might see a big dunk if Fnatic decides to go push. Yeah, man, they're not. They're backing up already. The top tier 2 tower is being Dyer's pressed too far. Nortel was busy top. farming up as well. Uh, he's only going to now be out of chemical rage. He's actually going to go straight into the Assault Curassa after this. So it's Battle Fury into AC. But he does have the four points up in Grievel's Greed, so hey, why not? There's so much bonus money that comes out from this Alchemist. It's ridiculous. Would you, would, you, would you finish the full AC or would you even be thinking about casual plate mail? And going into something a little bit stronger to fight. I mean, what is what is something a little bit stronger though? I don't know. Like, right. I'm thinking Mjolnir is, is where I'm thinking. Uh -oh, okay. Bottom lane, they got Vader dragging him back right now. And look at Skyrath. <laughs> they want that Vader dead before the ulti gets off. Yeah, I mean, again, we, we've been seeing this all day with a lasso or any any stun. Like it just makes your Mystic Flare into a, a killing blow. But uh, to answer your question, I, I think AC is just a fine item choice. It helps you kill those Naga yeah. when it comes down to it. Hmm. Well, Hardy can help with that too soon. He's almost got Blink Dagger. Yeah, especially with his, the fact that he has so much regen. You just want armor so that you don't get burst down quickly enough. You can take advantage of that regen. No. No tells back to his farming up in the middle lane. And give this guy some space. He's almost level 16 too. Actually, how am I looking for levels? He's only a level above that of, of the Naga Siren, but Naga Siren's only just hit level level 14, while Nortel's halfway through his level 15. Yeah. The key thing, the key difference is that Naga Siren's gonna get her farm without her being there, so her level intake's gonna be a little bit weaker. Mass Serpent Wards are down the tier 2 tower era. He's trying to clean up the creep wave, but he can't clean up the Mass Serpent Wards. Now in towards middle lane, Nortel being initiated on, Necro units are coming out as well. He they was might... trying to get that concoction off in time, but they just control him long enough. They might lose two tower here, because mid's going to get pushed down by the Treants as well as the Necrobook. Bots, you know, getting hammered down by the wards. Naga's going to stay here for a bit. So who do you defend? Where do you defend if you're Fnatic? But you... I don't think you can. Like, even Rant the Mage is keeping all the lanes pressured. Top lane's actually coming in too. Uh, come on. Where are, you? Where are you supposed to go? The illusions are there. Okay, the tower on the bottom plane is gone. Middle lane, Misery being initiated on. That fear just a little bit too late, so Misery's in too deep, and the Skyrise Mage ultimate will be used. So they bring down the Shadow Shaman, but that mid tower, it's gone. They lost three tier 2 towers in, in the span of 30 seconds. Top's gone, bottom's gone, mid's got denied, but it's gone. So if you look at this gold graph, it's gonna spike up like crazy. The split is insanely strong. And I was saying it, uh, I was saying before, 20 minutes on Pugna, if you don't have all T1 towers and attacking tier 2 towers, you're in trouble. Mm -hmm. I also, I said. One tower dead right now, dude. <laughs> yeah. One tower. Also, again, is you know, Era when he pushed Dyer's down the mid, uh, the top tier one. Attack. I said normally the successful opponent is after you push the T one, you keep going. Yeah. You don't stop the farm, because as soon as you stop the farm, the momentum of, of your tower pushing lineup is gone. So, I'm not sure what I agree with the Era play here so far, or the the decision from the team to not push, and I think it's kind of going to come back and bite him. Now, if you look over to Era, he is going to have that Aghanims. Which will be a big deal in terms of dealing with those Naga illusions. <laughs> but it, it's just a it's a stopgap. This plague board. It's one bloody plague board. Now there's a tree that's in here as well. But that gets smoked up. They could have actually quickly killed off Roshan because Mouse Boss is rather spread. And now they go into the Radiant Jungle and they find absolutely nothing. In fact, they fire flight up right next to the Observer Ward. So, Mouse Boss know 100% where Fnatic is moving. Mm -hmm. They know what's happening with Roshan. Actually, the tree and the, and the ward are now going to time out. But that Plague Ward, like, you think about it. You drop it down and you've got a 40 second duration vision inside the pit. I remember when, like, the first changes came into Roshan 2, and we're like, man, you got this 3 minute potential spawn time. And we all flag, like, Venomancer and, tr and Nature's Prophet as, like, the two big heroes you gotta think about because you leave the tree or the ward yeah. inside watching the pit so you know 100% when the spawn time comes. I mean, even better, Beastmaster. Or Beastmaster with yeah. Hawk. Yeah. Roots and run. But, uh, I don't think that's gonna be the... It's, it's not the focus of Mouse Force this game. Well... They definitely, they definitely are playing on the other side of the map, which having the all of this vision really helps. Because uh, you really don't get ganked. And to be honest, I think Fnatic's a big part of their lineup is the pushing and the gank. And so far they have really done neither. So I think all of the weight is actually on Big Daddy's shoulder at this point. 
Actually, he's gonna be careful. Radiant's he just used his ultimate. Is under attack. The mouse force moved themselves up there with level two mouse up mods with a wall of plague wards keeping the lane in, and with some early harassment from the Naga Siren. Maybe they bring him rights. down, but I, I think Mouseport learned their previous lesson of jumping that Rafe, uh, Rafe Knight and then, you know, getting yeah. descended upon by Fnatic. Yeah, Th their primary focus has to be Pugner Ward, Pugner himself, and Skywrath Mage. Yeah. That's gonna be the, their primary focuses because Skywrath Mage will make this a 4v5, and you know, the Pugner Ward will probably make this a 0v5. <laughs> Yeah. And honestly, is there any reason to hurry this game if you're Mouseport? No. I mean, you have such high amount of farm on PyCat, you have the complete map to farm. Look at the, the rest of the team is farming the enemy side the, of the map. The only thing you should probably be careful about is just how big you let this Alchemist get. Yeah, the Grievous Greed. Yeah, because like, you are still sending in Necro books that can be farmed up, and an army of trees is really just food for an Alchemist. So this is something you're, you're still going to be careful about. Your Illusion army coming up is nowhere near as strong. Uh, as all the other points which we mentioned before, uh -huh. like mainly just the the Smoke agony gang. scepter, which is already over on Hera. Smoke gang happening on the bottom lane yeah, right now. Yeah, they got him. Master from Ward's down. He's still inside of his chemical rage, however. They don't really have a lot of damage, and that's why MS is oh, they do. In. They do. <laughs> the minimal committal is high. So they definitely have all the damage they need. Oh, yeah. well, Big Daddy, Daddy definitely a, a full six of sixty attack. seconds. The racks might be. Oh no, they're gonna go for the. He has, he has buyback available if he needs to, but if I he think... comes back up, he okay, he'll have chemical rage too. Yeah, I'm surprised that Mouse don't just push into the base, force the buyback, and then go back for Roshan. But they're gonna go for the ultra safe play, get the free ages essentially. Yeah, but they don't force the buyback though. Uh, at this point, I don't think it's it's real. Oh, oh wait, there they, they do. do. <laughs> Fanatic wanna contest. Now they do have a fire flying bat rider, which is what gives them any kind of advantage around this pit, but. Mouse force get what they want anyway. If they took the Aegis, great. But they don't take the Aegis, they just get they take the buyback. More victories. But now Fnatic, okay. Is this their turn to try and turn? They this gotta around? be careful. There's a song on the map. There's if they also get a low, MSS on top lane yeah, yeah, yeah. the tier 3 tower. This is not the time to do Roche. <laughs> Big Daddy has no fear. He's using his ultimate. He's bashing it away. I think they're trying to bait him. I think they're really oh, trying to bait a fight on top of the Roche pit here. Uh, I think what Mouseport is looking for. Oh, here it comes. Yeah, it's a jump. They found Vader. Lasso over on pass. There's no feature. They bring down Vader very quickly. Now pass being drained down by Era, and they're going to try and stick with this fight. Fissure is out. Hani, he's still got an anchor available. He needs to help fire blast on the pass, but still enough damage. Trixie will die in the tower here. Misery jumps out too. Hex, they'll get rid of this anchor over on Hani. Meanwhile, over on the right, no tail is being sold up by Pycat. The stun is there, but Pycat splits himself up. The uh, stun is actually used on different heroes. Hero will come in. They steal a big kill here. And they got him as well, back towards the middle lane. Harney, low life, turned into a chicken. He'll go down too. They worked through him multiple times, but Pycat's on the sideline. Roshan's up with 300 life points. Uh, 3,000 life points. Got it. And now the Necro units as well as, okay, no tell's fine with this. He'll just farm it all up. Oh, Fissure, nice vision. Nail, pass, hoof stop, and now they seal up pass. And they're going to be in close. Look at the drain. Working overtime here from Era. Also with concussive shots as well as any kind of slow with a ski napalm. Swinging is very difficult for Mouse Force to move around here. I'm surprised that Prophet is not teleporting back in. There he is. Top. Yeah, forget about the Roshan, just knock down that tier 3. Also, Master Urban Ward is back online, so if Misery wants, he could just walk up top and just, just drop that ward down as well. But looks like Roshan's gonna Get be rid focused. Of the plague ward. Are Get they? rid of the plague ward. Are they thinking about jumping? Misery is definitely thinking about the jump. This this will possibly even be time to snipe the Agassi Mortal. Misery! He goes for a jump! He hexes! him up! There he goes! Misery! He's dragged out! The Agassi Mortal goes down. It's picked up by the Dire side. Alchemist has the hands of it and they're defending the top lane. Fnatic hold Roshan. Yeah, they hold Roshan. They hold the top lane. In fact, it's a big, big Fnatic victory. Ooh! Just a split second. A split second. Mm-hmm. Oi. That was a chaotic fight. I, I think to summarize, even though Trixie died so early in the fight, before he died, he was able to blow up the Venomancer. Also, because Mouseport came in through two directions, right? You had one person, or you had a couple of people coming through the mid lane, and then you had Naga by herself trying to solo team. I, I like to see Mouseport group up a little bit more. Because when that Naga got silenced, she really needed her teammates to bail her out. And uh, obviously, they weren't there for her. Yeah. And I can't believe how much work Hero was doing during that fight. If he's able to get Necro books up during this next engagement as well. Do you, would, he, would you look towards Hero to get Necro or would you think him about like a Scythe of Ice kind of thing? Yeah, I, I'm more leaning towards an item that 
gives you better mana regen because you expect him to last throughout the team fight. Oh, oh that thought. Nice Prophecy blink out. being in here. Uh -oh. Maybe should avoid the Gale. Stuns up MSS. And there will fly. And Honey can't get the TP off in time. And he's and dead. He's completely out of mana. Yep. His ulti was actually still on cooldown anyway, so it wouldn't have mattered. Here comes, uh, I, I think, a smoke wrap around from the team. Um, I don't know if that's really going to yeah, work. They're not smoked up. Yeah, here we go. They're going to try to fight without the Rave King. That's he, he has no buyback, man. He's short by 400 or so gold. This just has to be like an, an acid spray holdback. Yeah. That's all they could really do right now. Trixie as well as Eric and consider coming in through the back and just having like that that nether ward down here in this little position. And Trixie blinks it. He goes on Misery. Drags him back. There's just Skyrim Mage all and Misery's down. The Naga Sleep didn't protect him here. And the ward's actually in exactly the same position. Pike has teeth being out. But he almost put that exactly in the box I drew. They realized that if they could just strike one hero down, you can pick him up and range of the tower. Yep. The mouse force will be sitting there going, wait, we don't have the high ground advantage, really? We're not really winning another lanes. We've lost a hero, just back it up. Yeah, this is the reason why Fnatic's still in the game, because they have instant pickoff. And I mean, if you look at the map, right, there is five mouse towers still alive. Essentially, these are money in the bag for <laughs> Fnatic. Eventually, eventually they're going to get these towers. It's a bloodstone for hero. Huh. It's a blood zoom. I, I like it in the sense of the fact that it allows him to have that mana regen because at the start of the fight, Era's job is to put down that ward and just drain away and kill all of those Naga illusions. You just drain non-stop. And you honestly need, need a huge mana pool because it's 225 per pop on that drain. Mm -hmm. Not something that we often see. I, I personally would prefer something like a Shiva's guard or a Hex. Because they not only give you the mana pool, but also a, a, a fairly decent active. Whereas the Bloodstone is more of a scaling item of sorts. Oh man, that man is about to finish up his Ags. 700 gold. Third Ward needs to get rid- like, Fnatic need to have a look around for these things. Currently they're watching the ancient area, and that's probably one of the good key mo yeah, key places to look to. Because that's where Alchemist is capable of flash farming. What's he con concocting up to get rid of Naga illusions? Trying to be a little bit more of a nuisance here. Flying an era. They're also in the neighborhood. It's a long time until Roshan, so I'm not quite sure if, if uh, Fnatic really want to make a big deal about holding on to this ancient area. Or if they should just control their own jungle. Because they, they're going to get split pushed up anyway. So they should probably be pushing out the area where they can get the most amount of money. Because right now in their entire jungle, it's not being farmed at all. And I think that's an issue because Mouse Board, they're being a lot more efficient with their farming. Naga Siren, Rip my girl here from Pika, just sending it to essentially every <laughs> single camp. Right now, these wards just being such a nuisance. Like Nertel a refuses to accept a single, uh, a single ancient creep being lost. It's too much money to lose. All right, here comes Trixie. My fate is already backed up. Oh, yeah, look, look at the Radiant Jungle now. Like, Mouse Bolts have, have owned this. They put down a nice, aggressive Observer Ward. And they're just farming up all the stack areas. Yeah, it's one thing to win the fights. It's another thing to prevent Mouseport from farming all over the map. I'm not sure if Fnatic can do it. They have the heroes to do it. Like, Batriders should be able to just go around and Bottom kill lane. MSS. Look at Fader. Gale's gonna go off. There's a lot of Niagara losers coming behind a Prophet. Also considering TPing in there at the moment. But they do have more help. Just around the corner, Fissure. Concoction available here from Nertal, but being hexed up. He can't get it off just yet. He's got 0.5 per second. Actually, the Naga Sleeve stopped him from getting hit by that one. Nature's Prophet got nuked down after being dragged back out by Trixie. And the Naga Sleeve is now down. Can Fnatic finally, after 34, maybe 35 minutes, claim this bottom tower? Misery, he's still got Master Wards considering a movement in, but they're both blinking away to safety. I think finally Mouse Wards will accept that this tier 1 tower is down, and they can't, they can't make Fnatic fall back because it's the Prophet who was the one that died. Yeah, Prophet was uh, kind of the most important member of the team right now. I mean, Naga Siren's gonna try her best to hold this push. I mean, they also have a Glyph available if they want to delay further, but Fnatic will get a tier one. And back to my point, all five outer tower on mouse board, much from Fnatic. Yep. Go Graph is gonna go the other direction, other direction quite quickly. I don't think Fnatic's gonna stop. They could, in theory, they, get one more it. tower. They've got it. Naga Siren's gonna pull, uh, put too much pressure on the mid and the top. They can't take the tier 2 tower in time. They'll all back off. Yep. Protect the lanes for now. They still know that No Tail is getting bigger and bigger. He actually did build into the Maelstrom. He dropped the, he uh, used his TP scroll. He's about to lose the Aegis in 5 seconds as well. So he might want to be picking up that TP scroll again. Uh, but right now, No Tail is getting bigger and bigger. And I think he can not solo deal with the push. 
but he's getting there. Yeah. I mean, he's already at point, he could actually 1v1 the Naga and beat her, but that's not how Naga fights. Naga fights you but not fighting you, like just push you all the lane. And the game plan for Mouseport at this point is to overwhelm Fnatic by pushing every single lane at all time. And I think that's the type of game that Batrider enjoys playing the most. He enjoys, you know, dealing with one or two heroes at a time mm -hmm. and finding random pickoffs. It's really up to Trixie. Trixie is, at this point, really going to carry his entire team. Not through dealing damage, but uh, initiating for his team. Yeah, Keep it, keeping the uh, the numbers advantage going their yeah. way as far yeah. as heroes alive. Yeah. I understand what you mean, man. There's a smoke movement actually coming out. Trixie, Harney, and Flying working together. Now, the Naga Illusion just came up through mid, and they're moving to the bottom lane. So, looking for Fader. Maybe they can give him a crack. Now, he also actually purchased his Aghanim Scepter. That point boost is back over on the Courier. And had to fly all the way out. So he doesn't have the extra life points just yet to survive this. He's still sitting at 1200. But Ahani, Blink Dagger down. You'll see you'll see Pi Cat, but gets attacked. So he can't blink anymore. The Illusion came in and, and stalled him up. There's still two more heroes smoked down here, however. Fly, getting four stopped away. They just don't want to burn. They're worried that might be the real Naga. They definitely hurt like the real Naga. Now they have Diffusal Blade, so if you're a Hani man, your 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 mana pool is uh if you fade it, you're dead. Bottom lane, Trixie, just straight in. Blink, lasso, he actually get fade his ulti off as well. That's two minutes on the sidelines oh, and top the moment of the hero. Yep, they're actually beating themselves in for this one. Echo slammed by Pass! It's on Era, but he almost kills himself! The Nether Ward is still down! Pass is so low on life, they kill it off. 88 life points, he walks his way out of here. Mass Serpent Wars, there's no fortification left anymore. They're gonna mop up these Mass Serpent Wars. Fisher, oh, the Earthshaker. He goes down the Batrider Flame Break. The Mass Serpent Wars are still here. They're sending the Illusions in, looking towards Trixie. He's already low on life. But no tower will now be able to mop up the rest of these Mass Serpent Wars. And Harney's actually helping him out too. Not only do you like Chemical Rage, you've got Vampiric Aura. So he can stay on the front lines forever. Yeah, again, Era doing a dutiful job of blowing up all those Naga Illusions. Because without the Naga Illusions, there's really no damage coming out from Mouseport. The Mass Serpent Wars at this point just get cleared up too easily by Big Daddy. His AC's done too. Yep. Just a 38 minute support alchemist. Oh no, solo mid. Solo mid, sorry, yeah. yeah. Wait, how do I go back yeah. to support? <laughs> well, because he's a support player normally. Yeah, yeah. But uh, he started solo mid this game. Yeah. But he's, he does have. I, okay, it's not the most amazing farm you've ever seen from an alchemist, but it's managed to stretch the net worth above that the Naga Siren. Yes. And, also, and that's probably the more critical thing. And his, and his abilities are so useful up against the Mouse Sports lineup. Mm. We are kind of in a stalemate. And it really comes down to execution. Uh, how how do you? Uh, Top lane. You can't Fader. get a gank off if he, you're. He wants to have a crack at Trixie. Yeah. He gets the Gale off okay. at least. But Trixie still got four stuff, so he's okay. Yeah. I think I think Era needs to be pick part of these uh, gang parties now. Like if you you can't just stop your entire gang by running into a Naga illusion. Era just need to mop them up with the the life drain. Yep. Actually forced Mouse Sports to back up from the team. Yeah, here comes another right. gank attempt. It's gonna be a long way to get there though. Uh, he's halfway through his Firefly, and now he sees him. Blink, he got faded this time. Just, it was three seconds before the ulti was off cooldown. Yeah. He wouldn't have got it off anyway, because this time Trixie blinked directly on top of him. But that's another, basically, minute that you got a Venomancer on the sidelines. And you just rinse and repeat, because you're not losing anything. Just blink, ult, get a kill. Blink, ult, get a kill. And yep. just get fat. That's the game plan for, for Fnatic. No tail. It's a smoke movement from Bi from Pycat as well as Puss. And no tail is an invis rune. Oh wait, 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 wait. If they walk anywhere near this pit, like, they're on the wrong side. If they're not on the high ground, they'll come down and they'll see the acid spray spilling over the edge of the pit. Well, you, you spill your acid spray like in an area like this? Yeah. So it's within the trees, but... The funny thing is, if he, if he did that, then Pass may know about this. Well, he definitely doesn't know about it right now. Uh, Fly and Harnier today, but if they blink themselves in, it'll reveal it off. But no tell, the secondary acid spray... See it, the ping! There's the ping! They're coming in with the Naga Illusions, they're checking it out, no tell. 3.3k on Roshan, meanwhile up on top lane, MSS is being drained down. They're gonna bring down the Prophet. That's a huge kill. Yep, no tell. He does he also stunned himself up. Fissure is there, no tell. He's been beaten down by Roshan. Got by Roshan. They force up him up and out of range. 
He got out of range of the Naga Sleep so he can move over here and battle up against Fate. Oh! Yeah, Echo Slam from Path drops him down at the same time that Skyrath means that this works. Pike gets still gets a kill. Racing only going. Hira has joined the fight. Remember, he's still got this rain available. It's man up. Mass Earthmords. Shackles as well. Harney, he needs to help Fire Blast Misery and get him free. He stuns up MSS. Hira, he's got the drain back off again. But he's still fighting within the Mass Earthmords. He's low on life, draining MSS. He gets hexed up again. Now they're down towards Pike Cat. Trixie with him. Pass there also on the sideline. First on. Did he rune taken? Trixie force having himself away. Defuse the blade. Throwing him down. He's oh, Get up the hill, Harney with his son! He actually pushed them in range! MSS takes the high ground advantage! Now this crowd, it keeps no tell as well as Harney out! He's stuck between a rock and a hard place, being the stump of a tree in the fissure wall! MSS coming in, bleak away by Harney, as the attack flew out from the from Nature's oh, Prophet. Big Daddy. Now they found him. He's starting up the sun. He needs to get off this hex right now. He's out, but the shackle will remain. Means he stuns himself. They're fighting within Roshan. Flame break bouncing around. Four stuff down. No tails out. Fighting hard. MSS almost down for the count. Trixie turned into a piglet. Nature's Prophet kills off the Rage King. Now Pycat turns on the Song of the Siren. It's a split fight. Fate is coming back into it. Class still up on the high ground. Blinks himself down. Trixie. Flame break flying out. Searching for any kind of opening. No tail. Goes back to where this all started. And that's Roshan, but he got a proc off. He got a proc off when he's beyond ya. He knows Pass is up on top of the cliff. Pass teeping himself away to safety. Roshan, he will go down now. Mouse will give them some space. Oh, what a hell of a fight. Big Daddy was so close to dying a second time. That was his buyback, but it looks like they're going to secure the Roshan. As a result, both teams use so much of the resource here. And Fnatic barely able to edge it out. Multiple four staff playing it rather well. And that, my man, Era. I questioned this play earlier, but in these fights, just drain, 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 just non-stop. And that's exactly what you need to do, Tier 1, under a little bit of siege. Yeah, and Big Daddy's leading the way. It should go down this time around. Fate is still there, look at Honey. Straight onto the other side of the tree line with a blink dagger. He's making sure the mouse ports give them the, the, the basically the space they deserve, Fnatic. At the same time, pass. Visual fly. Three to count out on it. And they get the gale over on Notal. He's still got chemical rage available, but this is the guy walking around with Aegis as well as Hart. Killing him off twice is almost impossible. But here, now that is possible. Ensnare will come out. Pycat, very high Push movement speed. The curve finds himself. Drains Pycat. The mirror image will break, but now they seal up Pycat. Honey, L5 blast. Skyrath Mage Holman, 100 and oh, lost 1 minute 30 seconds on the sideline, Fader, now the Mass Serpent Wars will drop it, Honey, turns on the Sparkle Sparkle, Disco Disco, searching for Misery, one more blink, it's still on cooldown because of the cost of the damn poison, he can't chase it down, the blink into the tree line, Misery will get himself away to safety in the BKB, but still it's Mouse Balls down for the count for a while, Pycat, oh, <laughs> oh what a wrap, just Drop a little bit of me. extra damage coming out, Pycat need to stay with this team, because without his team, that Ancient Seal just kills him every single Single time. MSS. It really will. MSS hasn't committed everything yet though. He hasn't triggered off these necro books. He will now. He will now. He's gonna go for the base trade. I don't know if he can push that fast. Oh, well, I don't know if there's the fissure block. Fissure block, okay. I don't think that should even attempt this one. Like they, they've got the advantage at the moment. Just back it up. Don't take any more risks. Or do, do I just say screw it? I suppose while well, Naga's down for a long time. They know she can't buy back. They're gonna lose the range racks though. Oh nice jump in, jump in by Honey. He got the Sun and Pass. Big Daddy sees the racks. Blink Hex coming really? out from Misery. They're trying to do everything they can to delay. Meanwhile, Eros plinking away with the Nether Blast. Big Daddy doing the big damage here. Melee racks will go down here. Range racks will go down as well. And guess what? They protected their own racks. Nice focus fire of... Look at the range racks on the top lane. It barely survives. I love this from Fnatic. How do you approach this style of game? Okay, we bring down the melee racks in the middle lane. The range rack is almost dead. It's just a little bit more of a creep wave and it'll go down anyway. How do we deal with the next part of this? Always make sure you've got BTs. Don't lose the advantage you've worked so hard to gain. And how does Mousebots deal with this? They got an Aegis Prophet that can still split push pretty damn well. Where do you go from here? Do you just try and five man this and say like this is our only choice? I don't know if a 5 man's even going to work anymore. Like, you've even got a BKB over on Harney. Now, there, he is the support guy, the support Wraith King. With there BKB is a Blink Dagger, he doesn't need much more. You, you four men down to the mid lane. You take a fight there. Pike at sleep. And as the sleep is going off, you profit TP top and take the Rex. Because obviously, if you sleep the mid, they all, they're all trapped there you for a long time. You need the creep wave to get the high ground. Well, though. I mean, if, if you get to the mid high ground, right? That, the back door regen is gone from top. Yeah. So... I mean, that's a fairly elaborate play, but <laughs> look at do make it. Th this is your elaborate play. Pass, stays in the trees, puts an observable on the other side, and waits.
Radiant if someone, tower, someone will come and try and get this. Yeah, Trixie's thinking about the back door up top. He, he's scouting things out with napalm, making sure that there's... He might even be looking for any kind of warding. Yeah. Nothing there. Nothing there, Trixie. Radiant's bottom uh, tower is No, no wonder he's paranoid. Like, that range rack has 65 life points. <laughs> it's, it's down the first time even one unit from, from Nature's Prophet reaches that high ground. I think with sleep you could actually make a lot of plays, but Pycat need to stay with his team. Also, reserve the Manta style for the Ancient Seal, because with he just gets blown up. Yep. No Tails now arrived on the bottom lane again. Uh, he's, he's gonna almost pray that he could drop the Aegis shortly, because he needs to have that next slot in a moment. Now Trixie setting up on the top lane with a little bit of fire fire, so it makes it very difficult to push in. Now one of the BTs have come back, but Arnie's still remaining on the bottom lane. MSS and Pass are down here. So because they both revealed themselves, Fnatic know this isn't a push high ground. They might actually be like spitting themselves, like biting themselves a little bit, because you like you want to push that bottom tower. Yeah. Maybe they didn't have to bring back no tail so Hardy. early. Gonna blink away, not definitely not going for the kill. Really would need his team's backup. And okay. that, if you look at Big Daddy, he is essentially maxed out. If the Aegis is gone, do we go butterfly, or do we go abyssal, or do you think of something else? I really have no clue. I mean, obviously, I think your your team gets the Vlads for you, so if Bottom you... lane. Bad, sorry. I, I hate to interrupt, but I'm no, seeing no, three no, heroes man. converging from all sides in MSS. Arnie oh, wants they to see him out. The Sprout comes up, but the Firefly gives him the vision. Even the Netherboard is there, and they just drain him out. He'll go on the Mjolnir attack, but the MSS... Almost enough damage to kill a Top lane! Necrogen, Top lane! Lining. Big Daddy's in trouble right now. He's shackled up, but there's no He's damage! Too much life points, there's man. no damage, and look at the lightning. It's burning the hell out of these supports. Vata looks like oh the Gale's gonna flat out miss. <laughs> it's it's backup coming from anybody. The Pie Cat no. again. He, the, he, what what backup man? What backup? What can you do? Well, the Naga the Naga's the backup, but but Naga, Naga doesn't have damage to deal with him. She comes in and it's just like well, I got Radiant's Diffuse Lamanta, and he still doesn't have enough damage to even battle. Well, actually, the damage output directly against Nortel. Do you actually even stop his regeneration with a level 3 chemical rage? You, you definitely do, because the Diffusal Blade does a ton of damage when you have uh, when you have the illusions around. You, you gotta prevent Big Daddy from cleaving it though, so you hex him, you, you shackle him. It's still so, a level 1 Diffusal though. It, it adds up. It, it's actually one of the highest damage items in the entire game when you have the illusions, which Naga's Siren definitely does. But uh... uh bottom. He wasn't there. Trixie smoke, uh, is fire flying through the tree line. You can see Fader, and there's your jumping again. This is now the fourth or fifth time Fader has been the major focus here. Never gets the ulti off. Era was draining him out, and with the Nether Ward down as well, he knew if Mouse Boss tried to initiate, they get a better advantage now. And the hotel, well, the Fissure is just letting him attack. battle out behind the lines. He's got 5.9k gold and has lost the Aegis the Immortal, but the tier 2 tower has gone on the bottom lane, and no tower is just farming up the wave. What net he's actually up to uh, almost 30,000 net worth now. He's really caught up. In fact, I say caught up. He has just excelled as far as farm goes. Ani looking to defend top here. Nice bling back for Misery. And Misery's trying to wrap Offer. this. And Big Offer. Daddy. He's coming in for this. Wow. They can have a crack at Hani. They have to burn off his mana. They got Hani oh, down. Big but on the bottom lane. Yep, they're slowing Fnatic down. Big Daddy are still on the front lines. Remember, no Aegis the Immortal, but from just one Mjolnir proc, look at the most the Creek Wave goes down. Misery pops up the BKB. No tell, he needs to get back, and Cox is available. He's in the corner, Trixie. Lasso on Misery, the BKB target. With the Mount Serpent Wars down, they got through No tell. Misery falls down! Oh, no! Oh, with the Creep Wave! You go, Catapult! That Rider will take the kill. The gem had to be picked up there by Fader, but now they'll turn. Flame break it off. Pick up the fight. Look for, look for the extra buff up. Where's that? Drain here is not in range for it. Flyers getting there though. The Alchemist will kill off Major's Prophet up on top lane. That range rex does go down, but the rest of Fnatic are knocking the bottom door, and there's only two heroes alive for mouse bots. One of them, Naga Siren, but a big part of her illusions are useless. Era again, just keep on draining. The Naga's not really that threatening when she has no illusion. It looks like the wards are distracting the creeps a little bit, and that distraction by some valuable time. Six seconds to Earth Shaker's back, so he could do a little bit of long range disruption. Fata starting to put up that army of wards. And it looks like Fnatic's gonna back off. A couple of yep. force, uh, buyback forced out, but I think Mouseport now have a glimmer of hope because Big Daddy uses <laughs> buyback. Yeah, he I, did, man, but he's spending all of his money and picking up a Monkey King buff. That's fine, man. Just kill him one more time. Whatever you need to do, just kill him one more time. And essentially, you're fighting a team that has no damage. Big Daddy's all of their damage. What? Do, do you, you really think so? Because I'm still feeling like 
Like, fly with that early nuke, I suppose, like, continuous damage? Yes, I agree. Yeah, yeah, like, he, he's the guy who sends on the front line and tank everything, right? So, I'm not sure what you do if you, if you want to make the play center around that. You go for a smoke gang and just go for a straight kill. Also, I think it's time for Naga to upgrade that defusal blade too, man. It, it is a significant higher amount of damage output. But, uh, I'm not sure what that's about. <laughs> Naga releases gas up, no tail staring down, Roshan. Uh, no tail needs to find up this intercept before it can afford up his, his MKB. He's shot by 10k gold right, uh, 10 gold right now. Well, he needs to farm with this team, because if he dies, they lose. So, where is mm. this team? They need a back big daddy up. We're a long way away. MSS is doing some scouting with his triggers now, too. They know how, how important Roshan is. I mean, one of these big heroes, like, twice over. So important. Now, 5 gold until Monkey King bar is up. He'll spend the money, too, because he still has no buyback for 4 minutes. So, okay, Monkey King bar's there. Bonus damage is arrived for the Alchemist. The reason that he's getting MK MKB is for the uh, eventual butterfly ship Pycat get it, but I'm not even sure if Pycat will. <laughs> They're Plague Ward farming the ancient area. <laughs> They've actually managed to block the path down, so no tell us to clean these guys up. I still love to the fact that Plague Wards give you the bonus money. Smoke. Misery. Can they reach him? Oh, blink, yeah, blink, they blink, 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 Oh no, misery! A little bit slow on the reaction as a result. Look at that dude. That's Roshan. No, okay, he's, he's gonna out. buy back. Yeah. I'm now sorting out our grab as well. It's by a team and buyback. There is one buyback left on Mouse Force and it belongs to Naga. Yeah, I'm not. Oh, so, that DD rune. Who's gonna get their hands on it? Is it yeah, yeah, it's gonna get well, the I should just deny it. <laughs> He's actually cleaning up the Dire Observer Ward as well. It's his jam. He's gonna stay in range for it. All right. Oh, I can't, would have loved to add that. Coming in. The Kingdom Mass Serpent Ward. This is a big commitment by Mouseboards. Now they have songs, so they could almost guarantee it. So. Five flies off cooldown, but they don't have lines through. <laughs> they could almost guarantee this. They, they got beat their beat. Look at the wards, so they're preventing the decision coming out from Trixie. It's time to sleep, Pycat. Flame break him. Sleep. There's the sleep. Go. And Trixie's so close. Aegis the cheese is there. Pycat takes the cheese. Aegis taken by Fader. Where's the cheese? Wait, Somebody wake up the cheese. He's <laughs> Okay, okay. Aegis the Immortal goes to the Naga Tower. They changed their mind halfway through the song. Okay. Aegis the cheese. Is that enough to get high ground, Lumi? Is no. that enough to get up? Probably not. They, they need their ultimates, right? So you have to wait for your master rewards, which is going to come back in 60 seconds. I think by that time, though, Big Daddy's going to have a second life. It's a two minutes to his buyback. Yep. We're, we're counting your money this, for This it. is a game of seconds right now. <laughs> it really is just time. It's time frame, isn't it? Like he's not, he's never gonna be worried about money. This is, this is still a Grievous greeting, uh, like Alchemist, who's about to crack like 500 CS on the board. Is there, do you think there's any possibility of Big Daddy switching an item as well? Because, is, is this the perfect six? Are we gonna he, see? He, st he still needs to cleave. Yeah, he, he, actually, he needs to cleave. He, he, actually, does he? Yeah, no, no, he does need to cleave. The only thing which I would consider switching is his BTs out and picking up a BKP. That'll be the only thing I'll consider switching out. But that's only when you're fighting inside your own base. You, you got sure? a courier with you the entire time. Oh wait, wait yeah. Yeah, earlier I also made a call, uh, the mistaken call about needing a Vlad's, but obviously they already have Rave King, so lifesteal yep. is not necessary. If yep. the life still, if, if the Rave King is there with it. He might not be there though. Man, mouse forwards, they're just, they're not wanting to take too much of a risk. If they see somebody out, they'll jump them. But until that point, they ain't jumping Jack. Yeah, I think this is, the reason why we see Batrider being one, of, and you can see the arrows being drawn. This is, uh, let me translate that arrow. We are pushing all lanes. That's what it means. <laughs> We're, yeah, okay, then we, we, we have uh, this lane to push out. We'll push out this lane on the, on the middle, and then on the bottom lane, we'll yeah. that one too. They're, they're gonna try to Widow Fnatic down, but Batrider loves these. If you split up, he's finding free kills everywhere. You just can't spend too much time going for that kill, because if you do, then you do get pushed in. Oh. Man, these Naga Illusions are pushing on the tier 3 tower, and now Shadow Blade for the Batrider. Hey, Trixie pulling out some old school book. All we need right now is a Mask of Madness, and we're going to town on the old school. And just more movement speed. Anything to get him get there faster. Gets him in and out, too. Like, yeah. that's probably the bigger thing. Like, he gets in, and then he gets straight back out again. They don't get a guaranteed kill on the Batrider if they initiate. Here's the thing though, if Fnatic gets starved in this for a long time, I'm talking about 5, 7, 10 minutes, Mouseport is going to get at the farm lead. Now, Fnatic, look at this gold graph right now, this this is a this is a game of swinging gold graph. I, the, no 
Get it out, man. Get him out. Clean it out. Okay. Yeah. I got it out. Check. Let's the gold graph. Ah, yeah, you're right. Yeah. It's a big drop, but I could see the gold graph going up slowly. But look at the experience graph, man. That's one thing that only dropped. I like, mean, it never even rose. The experience graph doesn't matter if everybody's level 25, right? Gordon! Kappa! He's going for a beat. I'm not sure about this. I, I'm, I'm 100 percent sure about this, man. He's not. Uh, the only thing that's going to control him now is the ensnare. But the primary thing, or oh, Trixie, this could be problematic. They force up him once. He's just out of range of the mass server once. Oh my god! The server wants down. Meanwhile, in bottom lane, is still no tell. One man battling up against the Naga. Sorry, I'm not sure about popping the 10 second BKB straight away for it. However, I got a feeling that meant to be the Mjolnir. Uh, but the reason why I think it's so smart is because you still need to have this. Oh, initiation on oh, the bottom by Pycat. They got him! They got him! You need your team, Pycat! Pycat's dead! The question is, can you burst him a second time? I am not sure. They, they can perfectly stun him. Oh. There's a Fissure. Manta, Manta. And now the Drain. They can't help him. He's okay. gone top lane though. MSS fortification has to stop his push. And they're actually TPing. It's the BTs coming towards the top lane there from Trixie. And Hardy comes back to defend as well. They do hold the melee rags and they bring down the Naga Siren. Now, they Naga still has buyback. It's yes. only a 70, se 70 second window, but she's still got buyback, and all the lanes still belong to Mount Sports, so I, over the river. I think it's almost worth it to actually just buy back and just keep all the lanes pushed. With that said, though, if you buy back and die a second time, then you just lose the game flat out. Mm. But they do give up all of their creep equilibrium. If you look at all of the heroes, mm. they back off. But I, I think if you're a Mount Sport, you have to have Misery behind the Naga Siren. If she gets. For example, Mystic Flare, you need to push her away. Agreed. Or you prevent the initiation from Trixie, but it's hard to prevent a Batrider jump, and Batrider is the attic again. It's coming. Again. It's coming. He, can he walk up point blank range as well? Like, Fate is there. He's got the gem. Jump. Oh. Like, he, he's he's the one man that can screw around with. Oh. They saw him at the last moment. They're all out. Throw out the flame breakout, just wishful thinking. Um, I, I want to go back to BKB. So, well, so hold on, hold on. Mid, mid, mid. They're is, pushing they're in. going in? Yep, they are. Now, BKB is. is this, he, there's not much to be gained by this, so like the range rank is the only thing they'll gain from this. Well, no, it, it's pushing the creep equilibrium. Okay, yeah. yeah. Shove the lanes in, buy time for yourself. <laughs> for me though, I'll just, like, try and push that top lane, because that tier 2 tower is still standing 58 minutes into this game. Yeah. Okay, so so yeah, the BKB. BKB. I, I see your point. The battle fear is not necessary, because first of all, you have Era killing all the illusions. And then you still have the Mjolnir as well as the acid to kill all the creeps. So having a, a more fighting ready item against the... the, the Mostly the hex, right? As well as the the song. See, see, the funny thing is though, I wasn't I wasn't talking about getting rid of the battle fury. I still think inside the base, he should have held on to the battle fury and not just sold it. But I think he wanted the BKB because he felt he needed it. Yeah. Um. But when you're fighting inside your base, you have battle fury because then you're in defense mode. But when okay. you go for when you go for aggro mode to push out, let the Mjolnir do the work, but hold on to the BKB so the Naga sleep doesn't control you. So you can get it up before the site device has any effect from MSS, and it means too that this BK being a Shadow Shaman can't just sit there and hold you in position. The only thing which is going to control you is the Naga Sleep, and walking around a fissure or possibly Sprout. That's the only thing that can control you. Also, I, I think there is something to be said for Big Daddy to stop farming at this point. He is completely maxed out. He has seven. 200 gold. Stop farming, stop pushing? No, no well, you, you push, but you don't need to be the one that's getting the creep kills. Hani, for example, like, I, I think Big Daddy stay in base and defend. Okay. Hani, push. Because Hani has a lot of room to grow. And he's a Rave King. He that's can true. do something. They may want to let Ira do the farming for now. She check out his money. He's at 5.8k gold. This may be their side's advice. They're, sure. ser they're searching for so they can Cypher focus Vice, on. Shiva's guard, whatever. Like, just yeah. get any type of item. Also, I think... Don't the... say that, man. He'll walk out with a Scotty. <laughs> okay, not, except Scotty. <laughs> yeah. Trixie, Trixie and Fly, this is your two-man punching bag, right? You go in together, they could kill just about anybody by themselves. I'm surprised at Fly, he got himself a Blusto. <laughs> Sorry, I'm loving the traps that's being created. We've had three people from Fnatic sitting what? in the bottom lane for a minute. But this Firefly path, which has been done on this top lane, when this first was created, back in 2005, uh, there was one tree that was there as one of the first settlers of the top forest. He sat here while his land was burnt down. Um, and of course, he noticed it there. So they're trying to use this access path pass. He's caught out right now. Dragged back, no tail. There's the Skyrath Mage Ultimate. The Earth Shaker on the sidelines. No buyback. He's 180 gold short of it. So he's down for, for a full minute, and Roshan spawns up potentially in 30 seconds. Misery, blinking out at the shock of Creep Wave, and then going back away. This is a game of hold.
<laughs> as long as this melee rank doesn't go down the top lane, Fnatic still hold the advantage. Yep. If they lose this melee rank, though, it actually means a hell of a lot more for mouse bots. Because it's the lane they have an advantage on, but still have a tier 2 and a tier 3 tower on. That's the important thing for them. Yeah. It takes longer for Fnatic to regain the advantage. Well, I, I don't think it's going to go down anytime soon unless a big mistake is made. And this, this stalemate right now, it really, really favors Fnatic. Because Fnatic has a hero that could use gold more and more. Look at Hani, man. He's up to 3,200. That's a buyback as well as uh, the next item. And I do believe the next item has to be a Maelstrom for Hani. Just get more AoE. Just get more get more ways to clear creeps faster. Hmm. See, I would have thought maybe some, if he could have gone for some level of control. Because you don't have a BKB over on Prophet. I would even think like a late game Halbert. I suppose though MSS would just then just buy a BKB and sell his Animatus. I mean, for control you already have the blink into stun, right? That's that's a true control. True. I, I'm I'm just thinking right now, like like what what's what's really the late game problems now? The Naga Illusions are taken care of by Pugna as well as by uh, by Era. So they don't have to worry about that. Skyrath Mage is is your nuka, he's not meant to be the guy who actually kills off anything. Um, Trixie is your initiator. I feel like Hani is the guy that's gonna be there to deal with the BKB. Years. Yep. Just that one guy to get that extra stun. Now Trixie, oh this is problematic. There's no force ups, the TP's are coming in. That's Pycat, Trixie's down. He has buyback. Two back. minutes on the sideline, however. If he buys back on this yeah. one. And he probably needs to buy back. Mm. But, and it looks like, you can see that if, whenever somebody dies, the creep equilibrium just goes the other way. This is like ping pong. Last time when Naga died, all the waves got pushed out. Now when Trixie dies, all the wave gets pushed back in. Now, there's a little bit more of a danger for Fnatic. Because I believe they're the team that's actually ahead. They're the team that's supposed to win. Yep. So this is a tense moment for Fnatic. Let's see if they can hold their base again. And Ira's going to try and hold this. Uh, I'm surprised it's going to be picked up. I was wondering if Pycat would eventually do it, build a butterfly, considering Monkey King Bar is already there. Mm -hmm. uh, but he did it. Now, no tell. Roshan's up, and he just found a DD room. He is now dishing out over 460 damage a pop. I think we're going to see uh, Pycat build his hero more in the sense of a agility hero instead of a Lucian hero. Because the Lucian part doesn't do anything anymore. The era just kills it no matter how strong your Naga Illusion is. So maybe it's time, time. Maybe it's time to actually just right click. No right tell's going to come in. There's still half the duration left on that DD rune. So but look at his mana! He's going to start this fight at 380 mana of, of basically uh, 1100. But he's still going to come out. Chemical Rage not available. Ooh, Gale's he gonna miss here from Beta. He's starting on the concoction with the four star. Pushes Beta far enough away. Can he actually get there? He can't get it off. Triggers the BKB so just doesn't take the stun. But up on top lane, Mr. New Fresh AC MSS is pushing towards the melee racks. They're making Fnatic choose. Roshan or their top melee racks. Well, here's the thing though, Big Daddy just used his 10 second BKB to beat Dyer's on some Naga Illusion. It is time to go top. back, Melee Rax is under siege already. You see the rotation coming in, Trixie does have Butcher Travel, but it's on cooldown right now. And meanwhile, Hani, looks like uh, he's blinking for Hani's also at 4100 gold. Yeah. He's saving the buyback, obviously, but time to start to pick up an item. Oh. The problem is, like, he can't pick up an item at this rate. We're still, we're 64 minutes into this game. Buybacks are so damn expensive at the moment. Yeah. Now, no tell. I, I love, he's just walking straight past the wards. He's gonna get rid of these guys. And they're worth easy money, come on. Somebody kill that bell of giant strength. Yeah. <laughs> <just it's, laughs> <a bit> it's, <laughs> it's, it's annoying you, is it? Hannah Myers is off cool, damn. Bell of giant strengths are on the floor. Giant pick up your washing, boys. Pick up your washing. Top barracks. Yeah. There's still the melee ranks, though. Chip damage won't work. Oh, no tell. The Fisher, he's locked in here. The four staff, where is, they do have one. Do they have one? No. Know. He just stayed his ground. Where's the BKB? It's Hani's. Yeah, Hani used the BKB. No harm, no foul. Trixie's in trouble. Uh -oh. he's in MSS life. need to get out here. Trixie needs to be the, the one that break. locks him down. And looks like he's gonna go for MSS. Got MSS him. is gonna get blown up. Got the question him. is, does he have buyback? He does. And they're gonna give up Roshan as a result. Whoa. I'm not really sure. That nether was in a perfect position for this. Now, Firefly has already been used. But every single time they use the ability, they're still getting tickled here. And Era's not gonna make this easy for him. MSS but needs to buy back now and TP top. The, and actually, BT's coming in towards mid lane. Trixie's there. I don't know if MSS is gonna come in. Fader to Crepify Drain. He's at half life. There yeah, it is. He's TPing in. But there's no creep way for him to help out. The backdoor region will be there. And Skyrun's still in the name board. Now, fortification. First TP comes in. That concussive shot is on the way. He can't TP for another 12 seconds. They need to catch him out right now. Flyers already used his four stuff. But now we can all. Oh! Get out of here! Oh, Matt Damon! No longer Archangel! 
Behind him, behind him, Trixie's right there, MSS, he's Blink, Blink, he's Blink. Blink. Oh. coming in, he's gonna help him, the last who's gonna be there, so MSS is control the Pike and the damage is enough, meanwhile down the Roche pit, no tail's trying to have a crack, but Era, he's draining up Fader's life points, there's no help by Blast to control him here, the ulti will trigger off for Fader, the top melee ranks, Pike Cat has brought it down, Roshan, mid, well, mid, down mid. The pit. they're actually in taking the mid ranks, the mass open wards are down, the tier 3 tower flies there, Era, bottom. he's finally coming MSS back, MSS is raxing on really? the bottom, he blinks away, oh, He's gonna get hit by the click of trial, but the trees are doing work. MSS might die, so we have no more buyback. He hexes a fly, and he's gonna walk it off. Blink cool down uh, two no seconds. He's found by Big Daddy. Big Daddy's gonna drain him down, but look at the mid racks. Range racks has gone down. Bottom <laughs> range racks is under siege. We are in a tense moment for Mouseport because there is no profit for two full minutes, but they do have high cat. And they have two lives of high cat, and that is the most important thing. It is time for Mouseport to sit back. Drink a cup of tea and <laughs> wait for Prophet to come back and then wait for his buyback. Because I think they're in it for the long run and I think they will win in the long run. This go graph, it lies. It is a sign graph. <laughs> it is up and down. They don't know what they want to do. Oh. 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 It's also Rapier, and no tell is switching his item build out. What did he drop? What did he, he drop? He put the BKB. The BKB is sitting okay. next to the okay. shop right no now. No more Maelstrom. But he's going to build into Butterfly. Butterfly. Now, yeah. whoa, yo, turn the courier around. You've got a BKB on the ground here. Please, economy. Hey, forget the BKB, it's time to win. Is I think that's what right now. Yeah, GG push, no profit for six, 60 seconds. All right, the court, okay. Here's yeah. the thing. PyCat, yeah. PyCat has two song, right? You have, you can song right now. Yeah. Die. Buyback. Hope for like 40 more seconds and song again. Is that enough? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. This I is... I've never seen a situation I, like this. I don't this. see that would be enough, man, but it's a five-man push coming from Fnatic. The question for me is, do they split this push? Who goes bottom lane? Oh, the fish will hold Get out of here. I think they're just coming for tier four towers here. Yeah, they go for the throne. You don't buy a divine to get a rash. You buy a divine to win the game. Top lane. Misery is pushing in right now. He's got Mass Serpent Wars available. Look at him. Straight for the tier 4 towers. Mortification is still available here. And they got Vader. They dragged him in. Now the Song of the Sirens gone for the BKB Vader. And the Trixie's BKB wore off. They need to isolate somebody somewhere right now. They're pushing around. Mass Serpent Wars are down. The foot tier 4 towers. Mortification kicks in. Harney low on life. Remember, he's still got the Yang. There's no pressure from Mouse Wars. Oh! Oh! Drops the Echo, but he drops his own life. He got the Kremlin fight up. I don't think they can stop this. Big Daddy. Chicken's kind of Dark Towers, they're getting back in there again. Chemical Rage, 16 seconds on cooldown. He may lose Rapier. They gotta kill PyCat, Big Daddy MSS. Passes out in turns, Rapier's on the ground. The Fortress isn't down yet. Harney's still here. He picked up the Rapier, but he cannot use it. He's looking towards Misery. Now Harney will drop the... <laughs> Misery getting done by the Skyrise Mage. Where is our Batrider? He's away to safety. Pugner is still back here. He's trying to drain out. He actually got him. He actually managed to bring down the Nagasaren. They'll both fly back. Shadow Shadow as well as Nagasaren. And the Rapier is in the hands of Nature's Prophet. And they're cheaping right now. Right 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 the throne's under siege. Here is trying to drain the illusion down. But MSS, the damage is too much. No fortification for Fnatic. It's over. Mount what a game. The stolen Rapier. What? Oh, Lumi, you are my lucky leprechaun. Wonderful game. Mouseports fights for the tournament lives. They're still alive. They are still alive. They go 4-8. They go 4-8 in the tournament with that victory right there. And Fnatic, they go 5-7. Wow. Skyrath, 13-6, 12-3. But none of the encounters even matter at the end of that game. It was decision making. It was late game. It was stupendous. What a Done. We're, We're done. signing off. We're done. See you guys later. Thanks, boys. Thanks, boys. Next, next people coming up.